The real estate market is hot. So hot that some experts are talking about a possible housing bubble. Is there going to be a housing bubble in America? Well, nationally, America's having the greatest real estate market of all time. Prices are up, inventory is way down. In fact, in some places, people are standing hours in line to get into open houses. I remember we were at the open house and there was a line out the door. There were at least like 50 people. I think we had 67 showings scheduled within the first 24 hours. We wound up selling it for $50,000 over list price. Our seller in Highland Park had a pool, was close to the lake, and they actually weren't even planning on moving, but saw a similar home on the block, selling multiple offers and figured they would just see what would happen. We ended up getting eight offers on the home, sold for 250 k over the asking price, all cash, and it was an as-is deal. I have a property that we listed and sold for 385. The buyer backed out the day before closing. We relisted it and sold it for 440. That was just crazy because those sellers were happy, good to go with 385, and a short 40 days later, they closed at 440, which is pre pretty amazing. People are talking about that prices are going up, 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 up. Boom! Is this bubble going to burst? Well, nationally, in certain areas, it just might. The media keeps putting articles out about this bubble. We've got rising home prices, but no housing crash in sight. Five warning signs in real estate market that recall the mid-2000s housing bubble. Cities need a building boom to avoid a housing bubble, meaning that we need people to come back to the city. 50 housing markets that are turning ugly. So there are certain cities that are you know, flourishing more than others. Will US home prices drop in 2022? Home prices hit new high. Is this housing market about to crash? Is the US housing market heading for a crash? When will the housing market crash? Article after article after article of this doom and gloom that we are heading towards a crash. The suburb market and the city market are like two totally different markets. Our Chicago listings, I mean, we're not seeing multiple offers. We're seeing maybe one or two offers come through. However, in our suburban listings, if they're priced right, we're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing upwards of five, six. Anywhere from five to 25, I'd say. One, maybe two, it depends on the property. But I would just say we're averaging one and we have long market times right now. We have been seeing most of our multiple offers on homes under a million that are in prime locations, nicely updated, and priced spot on. We have had as many as, what, 11 offers on certain listings. So nationally, when we talk about maybe a housing bubble, it's too hard to talk about because you have to be in that exact location to discuss whether or not the prices are going up too much. Do I think we are in a housing bubble? Definitely not in the downtown high-rise market. There's definitely enough inventory to go around and there's not very many multiple offer situations. I don't know if I would say we're in a housing bubble because I don't think that prices in the economy are driving the decrease in prices downtown. I think that it's more people's preferences. I don't know if it's a bubble or not, but it feels different than 2008. That market was driven by loose lending standards and people taking advantage of that and buying homes they really couldn't afford. This market feels different. This one's driven by change in our buyers' wants and needs due to the pandemic. Low rates, millennials entering the home buying age, and a shortage in inventory, which has all created an extreme situation right now. In the suburbs, we are seeing what could be a bubble. We're seeing this whole rush out of big cities to buy into suburbs because more people think that they're not going back to work. But how long is this gonna last? Will a bubble hit in Chicago? Well, let me tell you something. In the downtown markets, there's definitely not going to be a bubble because we've already bottomed out. It can't get worse than it has. Big cities have already had their terrible bubble moment. Downtown Chicago couldn't be farther from a bubble. In fact, it's a great opportunity to buy. You should be thinking about buying now because this will be the best time in your lifetime before everybody else realizes that cities will be back. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the bell, subscribe to our page, stay tuned for our latest updates.